Now look at this statement. Find the greatest number that will divide 43, 91 and 183 so as to leave same remainder in each case. The numbers are 43, 91 and 183. In the classrooms and in the books, we solve it like from 183, we deduct 43, it is 140. From 183, we deduct 91, it is 92. And from 91, we deduct 43 and it is 8 and 4. So, in the next step, we take HCF of 48, 92 and 140. The HCF of these numbers comes out to be 4 and 4 is our answer. Now, if we divide 43 by 4, we are going to get remainder as 3. If we divide 91 by this number, again we are going to get the remainder as 3. And in the similar way, by dividing 183 by 4, we are going to get the same remainder, means we are going to get 3 as a remainder. I have seen that most of the students, they don't understand why these steps are taken to find out the answer of this question. Students memorize these steps and paste these memorized steps in the exam just to get a better score. They actually don't know what is going behind. So let us try to understand what is actual logic which is working behind the scene. We are going to take the help of Euclid's division lemma in order to find out the logic behind all these calculations. The Euclid's division lemma says that any number can be written in the form of P1 into Q1 plus R1. For example, 17 can be written in the form of 5 into 3 plus 2. It can also be written in the form of 8 into 2 plus 1. So we are going to use this lemma to find out the logic. So 43 can be written as P1 into Q1 plus R1 is equal to 43. 91 P2 into Q2 plus R2 is equal to 91 and P3 into Q3 plus R3 is equal to 183. Now look at the question. Find the greatest number that divides 43, 91 and 183 means same number is dividing 43 91 and 183 it means p1 p2 p3 are same p1 p2 p3 can be replaced with p and again so as to leave same remainder in each case remainder is also same so R1, R2, R3 are same. So R1, R2, R3 can be replaced with R. Now this is equation number 1, this is 2 and this is 3. Now subtracting 3 from 1. When we subtract this 3 from 1, we get P into Q3 plus R is equal to 183 and 1 is P into Q1 plus R is equal to 43. So 
minus 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 it gives us p into q3 minus q1 r and r they are cut off we get 140 so q3 minus q1 is equal to 140 upon p and when we subtract 3 from 2 we will be getting q3 minus q2 is equal to 92 upon p and when subtracting q2 minus q1 we will be getting q2 minus q1 is equal to 48 upon p so the difference of number 140 is divisible by p 92 is divisible by p and 48 is also divisible by p in our case p is nothing but this 4 so the euclid division lemma can also be interpreted as if the difference of the numbers is divisible by a common factor then the original numbers when divided by the common factor will give us same remainder in each and every case so when we divide 43 by 4 we get 3 as a remainder when we divide 91 by 4 we again get 3 as a remainder and similarly when we divide 183 by 4 we get 3 as a remainder in simple words we can say that if difference of numbers is divisible by a common factor p is the common factor then the original numbers when divided by that common factor must give same remainder in each case so when p divides 43 91 and 183 will give 3 as a remainder in each case